Tortured world of Brexit negotiations, even the Brexit secretary was having to confirm this morning he's not going to be the next to walk out. Are you going to resign? Absolutely not, we negotiate. So it was a full cabinet who trooped in to discuss Brexit this morning. Confident of a deal, Mr Javid? Where they agreed the absolute desirability of getting a deal this month, but not stress the Prime Minister at any cost. We're always uh, planning to get a deal and the Prime Minister remains always optimistic, as I do, having heard further information today. But in Europe, the mood music from the EU's chief Brexit negotiator was sounding a lot more moody. We're not yet there, as I said previously, about this last part of the negotiation on the uh, withdrawal agreement. We need an operational backstop for Ireland. It's the Northern Ireland backstop, the insurance policy to avoid border checks here between the North and the Republic of Ireland, which is still the major stumbling block. The UK is hoping a proposal for a way of independently reviewing when that backstop will end could be a way to break the deadlock, although Dublin still has its caveats. We're open to considering a review clause, but I've set out very clearly what that review clause could not contain. It could not contain an expiry date that could not contain uh, the unilateral ability of the UK to resile from its commitments uh, in relation to there being no hard border. And the potential cost of not coming to a deal was laid out today in South Wales and Devon, where two Schaeffler plants will lay off 500 staff, citing Brexit uncertainty as part of the cause. If the Prime Minister doesn't manage to grasp an agreement this month, many more firms say they'll push the button on no-deal plans with more jobs at risk. Romilly Weeks, ITV News.